Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to another tutorial for the Blender 3D. This is tutorial number 10 and here I will teach you guys how to cycle render, how to use a mesh as a lamp and how you can use uh, a mesh to look like glass. Now, first of all, I'm going to delete this cube and I'm going to create a new plane. This is going to be like really big so I'm going to scale this really really okay so now first of all on the options of the render you need to change the options here from blender render to cycle render if you don't do that a lot of properties uh, will change and maybe you'll get lost uh, only because of that now after creating a plane it's gonna be always the object the materials and the properties always so here we're gonna use three objects this is gonna be uh, a plane as a lamp is going to be the object that's going to be like glass and it's going to be this plane that we have right now that's going to be the floor so it's got uh, on those three objects is going to be objects materials properties remember that now let's go to the materials here and let's create a new material and for this surface I'm going to leave this to diffuse BSDF and on the color I'm going to choose maybe orange there we go now to see that the color on the plane here, you need to change your viewport shading to render. As you can see, it has the color already. So let's change it back to solid. And now I want to delete this light because I want to create a lamp, but I want to create it with a mesh. So let's press, let's press Shift A. Let's create another plane. Let's pull it back a little bit. Let's pull it up. And let's rotate this on the X. Oh uh, no, my bad. Let's rotate this on the Y, 60. And now we have a plane that we'll be using as a lamp. And for that, let's go to the materials. Let's create a new material. And let's choose on the surface. Emission. Now, this is really important because this is the, this is the property, the option that's going to change that mesh to a lamp. Now, Depending on the color that you choose, this is the way that it's going to light everything. If it's white, it's going to be everything white. It's gonna, the lights are going to be white. If it's going to be red, it's going to be uh, the colors is changed to red. The lights are going to be red. If it's blue, it's going to be changed to blue. And so, so on. So, now that we have our floor created and we have our lamp created with a mesh, we need to create an object. So, let's press 0 so we can get to the camera here. Let's press Shift A to create a new object. And let's choose the monkey. Now, I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And I'm going to rotate this on the X for minus 50. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Goes to the ground a little. Let's put it closer to the lamp. There we go. Let's go back to a perspective view. Now that we have everything, we have our three objects. That is the plane on the floor, has the plane as a lamp, and the object that's going to be looking like a glass. We need to work with the materials here on this object. So click on materials, click on new, and for this surface you need to change this to glass BSDF. And it will make a hell of a change. So to see the results there you go now as you can see it's still rendering and it's only rendering 10 pictures so it looks pretty nice but it needs a lot more and for that we need to change our properties on the lamp we need to make though uh that light to look uh brighter so for that go to the string and just pull it up but do this on the rendered viewport so you can see how much uh, the string is so it looks pretty nice like that i'm gonna zoom in right here just to have it go and i'm gonna pause this a little bit guys because it's gonna take a lot of time oh and i forgot to tell you guys to render more you need to go to your render options right here on the top on the right of your properties and you need to go to the sampling on the sampling you can choose to preview a lot more renders 
so it could look way much better but this is only a preview remember you can pull it up all the way you want but the last one it has to be the render so to uh, remember just that this is only for the preview it's not going to change the real render when uh, when the final uh project comes so i'm going to leave this right here i'm going to pause it for a while and i'll be back in a couple of minutes okay guys so i think that's enough rendering for the moment this has been a lot of renderings right now has worked uh damn a lot so but you can get the idea how it looks and now this looks more real than it was before and it's still rendering as you can see so this is all for this tutorial this is angel from prdb entertainment if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and write a comment bye bye